Former President Trump at Arlington National Cemetery today marking the third anniversary of the terrorist bombing during the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. 13 U.S. service members were killed in the Abbey Gate attack at Kabul Airport in the final chaotic days of the U.S. pullout. Reason. Oh. Trump helping place three wreaths to the fallen today. We had a uh, celebration of some great people, some great, great people who passed away, who were killed in the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. Vice President Harris releasing a statement today saying she will care for our troops and always honor their service and sacrifice while standing by President Biden's right decision to end America's longest war. Later this week, Harris will head to Georgia with running mate Governor Tim Walz. Her campaign reporting it's raised more than half a billion dollars last month. 82 million came in just last week during the Democratic National Convention. But both campaigns are also focusing on debate preparation ahead of their first face-off on ABC News on September 10th. Uh, I'm not spending a lot of time on it. I think my whole life I've been preparing for a debate. To counter the Harris momentum in polls and fundraising, Trump is set to barnstorm key battleground states of Michigan, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania this week. The Harris campaign said today it does not want microphones to be muted during the debate with Trump, a departure from the demand made by the Biden campaign when the president was at the top of the ticket. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.